it is showing as you are a link couple of times what will happen you don't know how to operate some of the people will click on this one okay so we have to give right click and copy hyperlink understood or not right click and copy hyperlink nothing but you are a link will come that you are a link you have to take so otherwise uh, directly for clicking on this one your system may will get compromised because it's a malicious one because you are doing analysis one okay so now we can go and we can discuss couple of practical scenarios so first scenario malicious you are a link second scenario malicious attachment third scenario one phishing email attacker sending 100 emails to 100 different users how can you do phishing email investigation okay so fourth one 100 phishing email attackers sending 100 phishing email attachments or 100 phishing emails 100 phishing email attackers sending 100 phishing emails to 100 different users how can you do investigation okay so this is the way in how normally interview questions we can expect okay even sometimes they will include malicious url links sometimes they will include okay malicious uh, malware attachment and so on here also maybe they can include malware attachment here also they can include okay even uh, malicious url link and so on here also once again malicious url link option is possible even malicious attachment also possible so here also malicious url link is possible here also malicious attachment is possible okay now first we can go and we can see first two later we can go complicated scenarios okay so malicious url link so it's one of the popular entry question as well one of the spear phishing email coming as a malicious url link in that scenario how can you do investigation how can you do investigation now anyone just you can guess it uh about three options along with the uh, url validation okay. We you will take care of all these three validations. That's fine. And along with that, we will be mm -hmm. doing validation of URL in the virus total virus or MX tools. Yeah, that's perfect. So we have to take the URL link and we have to go to either virus total.com or else which one? Hybrid analysis. Hybrid analysis.com, whether URL option is available. Right cloud. Bright Cloud. Bright Cloud is a licensing option under Palo Alto. So let's go and see. Don't worry. Let's go and see. Hybridanalysis.com. I think it's available. So file, uh, yeah, file and URL option is available. Yes. So one is URS total, URS total, sorry, virus total.com. Second one is, so we have hybridanalysis.com dedicated to URL scan. URL, we are doing scanning now, checking the reputation of the URL. What else? Only these two. Bright cloud is not possible because it's a part of Palo Alto. Any other? 
Okay. Yes, URL void and URL scan. I yes, URL void and URL scan. That's correct. I'm expecting URL scan. So URL scan option is available here. Click on URL scan and click on this URL scan. So these three things. So for validating URL, so what, what are the different types of websites we will do? Reputation check, either virustotal.com or hybridanalysis.com or URL scan or URL wide or else commercial email gateways. Okay. So in this one, because it's one of the interview question, So take a URL. And go to either URL scan or virus total.com or hybrid analysis.com and verify URL reputation. Okay, now option one. What is option one now? What is option one now? Legitimate and legitimate URL or malicious URL or suspicious URL or abnormal URL. In that scenario, what will you do? Block in firewall and proxy. Block the URL in either. Firewall. Either in the proxy, always give proxy. you priority to proxy. If proxy is not available in your operation, then firewall. So option two, illegitimate or genuine URL. So what is the answer? So we can conclude it is a based on the above three investigations along with this one, we can finalize. Now we can conclude with the phishing email or not. Okay. Sir, legitimate or illegitimate? Legitimate. Sir, legitimate or genuine? Legitimate. Sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah. Legit. Even wrong. If this is illegitimate, guys. Sorry. Apologies. Yeah. This is illegitimate. Apologies. It's okay, sir. And this is legitimate or genuine. In this scenario, overall analysis wise, option one and option two, option three. So we can conclude it's like a genuine email. But it's not completed yet. Now it's one only for single user, whatever we discussed now. It's a single user. But now coming back. What additional thing you can guess? Anyone can guess what are the additional thing you will take care? What are the additional things you have to validate? So, okay, this is a phishing email. You can conclude that that is a malicious URL link and it's a phishing email. What additional analysis will you do? If anyone has clicked that URL. What exactly. Will you do? Exactly. That's correct. If any person or any user is clicked on the URL link or not, where will you verify that information? First of all, how many end users are received this email, whether single user or group of users like a spear phishing. So where can you verify that information? We have email gateway. Email gateway. In case email gateway we were not using in that scenario smtp server yes here collaboration coordination is required we have to contact smtp server in case email gateway we are using or email security solution we are using directly we can go to email gateway you can use either subject line because it's common for every subject it's common for every end user subject line or maybe sender email address. You can use these two options and you can filter out. Now you'll come to know how many users are received along with their email recipient, sorry, recipient email address. 
okay now once you received that one out of 10 people five people are clicked and five people did not click that one so what is the conclusion from this one five people malicious you are a link they clicked five people they did not click on the malicious you are a link later what will you do the investigation that. what investigation will you take care if they have been compromised means uh, we have to do containment sir five okay. five people those the five end users we have so to make which logs you will analyze in this scenario mm -hmm. we'll be using who are all clicked on the url link who are all did not click on the url link which log sources logs you will go on you will analyze active directory the active directory email gateway email gateway is one any other firewall 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 proxy proxy, firewall. proxy. 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 yes so first one in case if i are using email gateway yes email gateway otherwise obviously proxy proxy and firewall who you are clicked on the url link and whether redirected to that particular website or not whether it is a blocked in the proxy and firewall or not you have to validate okay firewall or proxy is allowed later that's a malicious url link unfortunately so proxy and also firewall is not blocked the url link in that scenario ids ips no it's not blocked already so what will you do additional thing we will block it in the firewall Okay, you will go and you will block that you are a link in the firewall. That's okay. Later, identify what data he cop copied. Yes, that's perfect. So, identify is there any command and control outbound connections it went where you will analyze this one whether command and control connections went outside or not with the help of firewall, firewall. with the help of firewall and also IDS IPS. <laughs> with the help of firewall and also IDS and IPS. From that particular end user IP address, is there any outbound command and control server connections it went outside? And what is the status of the command and control connections, whether it's allowed or packet dropped or reset and so on. Okay, so in case it's a block, it's fine. It's okay, it's good if it is allowed. Nothing but it's a that particular end user, it's a reach to the command and control server connection, it's allowed. Additionally, what will you do? So now we have to analyze the root cause analysis. What level of the data he copied, whether he changed the credentials or not. So once that connections are going to the end user, obviously he will compromise your credentials. From your credentials, is there any other end users or email sent out? Okay. So immediately we have to change the Outlook Office 365 credentials by speaking with so respect to SMTP server team. And also what level of the data he copied? Which logs we have to analyze? Log. DLP, log. DLP, DLP log. logs. So finally, we have to make a root cause analysis document. So what are the mitigation recommendation steps you'll provide for a future purpose? So later you have to do containment, eradication, and root cause analysis and everything you have to do. Later, what will you do? So one is credentials, we have to reset. Second one, what will you do? For recommendations wise, credentials is one thing. Rerun the antivirus scan. Is there any malware is got infected? any other firewall and proxy if they have allowed no sir we have to check whether they are in active state yeah so that's fine you have done and you are also blocked for future purpose later we have to educate the employee excellent we have to educate and we have to provide security awareness training so please don't click on next time whenever these phishing emails are coming to the end user. You can forward to SOC team. We have to provide one session to them. Whenever you are suspecting something, 
please forward to SAP team. We will take care of the investigation and we can conclude whether it's a phishing email or not. So sometimes even whoever is doing the phishing email investigation, wantedly they will do testing. What do you mean testing here? What do you mean testing of the phishing emails? Uh, they only send the phishing email to the uh, employee. Yeah, exactly. So, respect to phishing email team, they will send to employees and they will see who are clicked on. It's like a testing. First time they will see, second time they will see, third time they will see, fourth time they will give warning and they will inform to the respect to manager. May fifth time or sixth time also continuously is doing the same thing. Termination is possible. Is it clear? So, that's why for phishing email, for social engineering attacks, always educating the employees is very, very important. After doing all these credential uh, changing, as well as run, running the antivirus scans, blocking the URL and so on. And even whatever data copied, analyzing the root cause analysis as well. Okay. Is there any doubt in this one? It's one of the very favorite interview question. Malicious URL link. So what are the logs we will analyze? Proxy is the number one. Next generation firewall is number two. Email gate is the number three. If we want to see who are all the end users are received the email related to malicious URL link, either you can go to the email security solutions or email gateway, 